Lienz, who is in Rivonia, ready and ready to go to cycle. Lienz, over to you. Severe high, yes, indeed, we are. Everybody uh, all kitted out, getting ready to hit the tar in a very short while. But uh, it's a, a fantastic morning. It is hot. That much I can tell you, unfortunately. So it's going to be riding in the midday heat, but it's all for a good cause. Cycle for Diabetes, raising awareness. SABC Foundation is involved in this one as well, which is a fantastic initiative. And it's something that's really helping the communities around South Africa. Starts in George. Uh, so, beg your pardon, starts in Johannesburg, ending in George, covering about 1,400 kilometers. And uh, that's what these four teams behind me are expected to complete over the next few days. They'll be finishing on Saturday, so it's a lot to achieve, but I think they can do it. But uh, to speak a little bit more, and uh, one of the teams cycling is the city of Joburg. So uh, let's chat to our MMC for Health here at the city of Joburg. I've got Dr. Mpo Palace, and uh, also joining us is the youngest rider on this team, 15-year-old um, Marco Mulman, who has type 1 diabetes, and uh, it's such a pleasure to have both of you with us. Well, welcome, MEC. Thank you. Awesome, Thank you. and good to have you. Welcome once again, Marco. Thank you. All right, so uh, let's first talk about it from a health perspective, the city of Joburg to get involved in something like this. How important is it? It's extremely important. We've seen um, how there's a rise in the burden of diabetes, particularly in urban areas, because it is a disease of lifestyle. And with rapid urbanization, we're seeing that there's more and more people with diabetes. But we also find that one in two people actually don't know that they have diabetes, so they're walking around with it. So there is a need to really drive um, awareness um, and, and, and teach people on the risks and encourage people to get screened as regularly as possible. Yeah, that's the reality, is that people are living with it and they don't even no. Now, I mean, you, Marco, from a very young age, when, when were you diagnosed with diabetes? Um, I was diagnosed with diabetes at the age of 22 months. Wow. 22 months? Yes. You know, you would never think that. Never in a million years. No. Um, I mean, that's, that's, that's an incredible thing. So, for as long as you remember, you've been taking medicine and trying to control it. Yes. Yeah. Just trying to maintain my blood sugar for almost 13 years now. And, and I mean, you're leading a normal life? Yes. Okay. I mean, what do you do every day? Uh, I try to exercise and just keep healthy, try to eat uh, at the right way and just try and maintain my blood sugar on, on the right levels. Yeah. And in terms, of, in terms of medication, are you on medication every day? Yes, I'm on insulin, on an insulin pump and uh, that's just to maintain your blood glucose level and just uh, trying to um, keep it on the right, the right level. Yeah. I mean, it's amazing, 22 months old. Now, I would never, in my wildest dream, I wouldn't even think to test my child for diabetes if they were feeling anything. You know, yeah. you'd look at the kid and think, okay, maybe it's this, maybe it's that. You would never think diabetes. Yes. Is this a growing trend? Are you noticing that more and more kids and babies are being diagnosed with diabetes? Definitely, yes. Um, diabetes is a non-communicable disease and there's an increase in non-communicable diseases generally, you know, because of urbanization and lifestyles changing. Um, and so we are seeing more and more cases of diabetes. We do test routinely and um, every baby that's born gets tested as well. Um, but we do need to increase our efforts with, yeah. with regards to that. Yeah, it is a big thing, particularly in government hospitals. I mean, that's a, that's a big deal because, you know, private health care, obviously people can afford it. But it's the people that can ill afford it and all the medication. That's where most help is needed. Very true. And we do have primary health care facilities throughout the city, which are completely free of charge. And we're working hard to improve our services to make them more patient friendly and more accessible. And so we're hoping that as we do that, people will be encouraged to come into our facilities and be screened. It's totally free of charge. Um, and we're hoping with time, it won't even take too much of people's time standing in queues waiting to be screened. Excellent. And this ride is also about stopping at various places and screening individuals that come and visit so this is the sec is it the second year you're riding uh, no it's the it's the first year I'm riding the full distance, the full distance okay. yes but for two years before now I've been doing only the first leg of the relay so this time how many kilometers are you planning on riding this time around about 400 to 600 kilometers wow. yeah. four to six hundred k's that's incredible and this is over well two days really I mean two, it's two three days yeah. that's it and I mean you're with your dad so you're cycling with your dad yes which team are you a part of? I'm um, a part of Team Best Med ASG okay. for the relay. And you and you riding all the time? I mean, are you are you riding? Uh, I suppose different races around the country. Yes, I'm trying to race, uh, get it to, uh, to as, as much races as possible around the country. That's brilliant. Which of course is keeping you healthy and fit as well. Yes. Oh, that's great. We wish you the best of luck. Thank Thanks for talking to us, MMC. You promised you're going to start cycling. 
So let's do this because I'm noticing a lack of women here. Yeah. This is not good. We not need to good. get on there. And lots of ladies cycle. Yeah. So I'm going to be flying the flag for as much as I can for all the women out there. Great. But you've got to join me next year. You promise we'll me. I promise. Okay. I promise. Good. And, and, and our MEC as well. We've got to get MEC Mkhlangu to come here. I'm going to tell her myself to come here and do this too. Thank you so much for joining us on the program. Thanks for watching everybody. So we're going to go off. Uh, I think uh, we should be hitting the road at about 10 o'clock this morning. There's a few proceedings to happen at 9. But then hitting the roads, hitting the highways, going over Nelson Mandela Bridge, all the way to Maponya Mall. If you can get down to Maponya Mall, go there, watch out for the cyclists. But then for the rest of them, it's off to George, that whole route they're going to cover. So I wish them the best of luck. Thank you for watching. Back in studio bright and early tomorrow morning. So it's a big shop shop from us here in Santon. God bless you all. Have a wonderful day. Cheers, everyone. All right. Thank you very much to Leah.